everybody. Welcome to Faith with Katie. I'm Katie Souza. We're live today from Naples, Florida, in our studio that we've been in since just the end of the year. We're so excited to be broadcasting over Faith Television Network. Faith TV right now is covering all of Africa, Europe, Ireland, America. Thanks to everybody at Faith TV for making this live show possible. And thanks to you guys for chatting in right now. I got somebody online. Henry's on the line from Bangladesh. Wow. He said, I haven't even slept. It's 2.56 a.m. here, and I'm in City, Daukau County, Bangladesh. Welcome to you, Henry. Thanks for staying up all this time so that you can be on today's broadcast. We have Davenport, Florida. David's watching from Davenport, Florida. Welcome to you, David. Timothy's on the line. Matthew's watching. Uh, we've got people. Uh, Monica says, good to join here for the first time. Welcome to you, Monica. We've got uh, New Mexico is watching also. Atlanta, Georgia. Noah Butler's in Atlanta, Georgia. We got Melissa from Augusta, Georgia. We've got Eileen from the UK. Paula Peacock is watching also. Can you guys keep on chatting in where you're watching from as we get going on today's broadcast? Fort Lauderdale, Florida is on the line too. That's not too far from me right now. Brooklyn, New York City is watching. Hey guys, thanks for joining today's broadcast. It's going to be completely awesome because my friend Julie Meyer is here. Now, Julie Meyer is one of the most prolific one of the most gifted, one of the most insightful and revelatory worship leaders in the planet today. She actually sings. All her music is based on the word. She writes her music. She performs her music in her daily secret time with the Lord. She sings the Bible. And I'm telling you, she's seen miracles. She's seen breakthroughs. She teaches other people how to do it. She's going to be on her keyboards today live. You need to share the broadcast because she's going to be singing over you and teaching you how to sing. So if you want to receive a prophetic flow of worship decrees from Julie as she sings the word over you for deliverance, for healing, you need to be here on this broadcast. You need to share the broadcast with other people because people are going to get healed. And she's even going to show you how to activate into it yourself. And, and trust and believe, this is out of her own mouth. You don't even need to be a singer to do it. Amen. She's going to show you that anybody can do it. And you're going to see how powerful it is when we sing the scriptures. Welcome, Doris from West Virginia. Thanks for joining us today. Davis is watching from Philadelphia, PA. We've got Topeka, Kansas. My, my spiritual son, Spencer Lindsay. Whoop, whoop. He's on the line. Spencer is who I go do prison ministry with. He has seen so many miracles as he's come with me and brought me and my crew into prison. Working Men of Christ is his ministry. Welcome to Spencer. I love you, my son. I love you. Pauline's watching from New Zealand. We got San Diego is watching. Abbotsford, BC. Sue is in Abbotsford. Thanks for joining us, Sue. Keep on chatting in, you guys. Southern Cal is on the line. Donna. We got Louisville, Texas just joined us. Blah. Awesome. We've got Caroline from South Africa is watching. Thank you guys for getting on today. And look, if you're watching on your TV via Faith Television Network, make sure you go to my Facebook page, Katie Souza, or you go to my YouTube channel, Katie Souza, to join in, or go to my Faith TV to get our live feed and just chat in. Chicago just joined us. Welcome from the peeps in Chicago. Okay, guys, look, before we get into today's broadcast, I want to play today's selfie miracle testimony video. Check it out. You had an accident? Yes, Phil. You fell down? Yes. As a result, what happened when you fell down? I uh, had a spiral break where it was three different directions, and it um, splintered the top of my humerus, and I had eight screws and a plate from here to here with 21 sets of arms around it. You had eight screws, a plate from up here to your shoulder, down to your elbow, with 21 bands around it to hold it in place. Is that correct? Right, and then it had like the spikes holding the fracture, the splinter part right here. So the top of the, the ball of your arm was shattered and fragmented so much that you had spikes, metal spikes put in it to hold it into the arm socket, correct? Right, that's correct. What level pain did it cause you? Well, I had like an eight, but I mean, it's just because it's gotten better. 
So it, it was worse than an eight before, but you've been taking therapy. So you've gotten the pain level down to an eight from after the therapy, correct? That's correct. What's your name? Janetta. And you're a physical therapist? Um, kind of. I'm an athletic trainer. And you work with her? Um, we work, yeah, at the same office. And you see her all the time? Yes. Can you please demonstrate how far she can put her arm up? Okay, yeah, so do it again. Like that, and then what? That. Well, that's what I saw when you showed me. So now, let's see what you can do now. Okay, now. It was not straight before? It was kind of like this. So your arm was permanently bent because of the metal? So put out your arm straight now. Gee, now you can put your arm straight, even though there's metal in your arm. Okay. Now, what's your level of pain right now? I don't have it. I'm just tired. My muscles are tired. And that's so you went from an eight pain, which came only after therapy, to zero pain. Correct? Correct. And it's just because my muscles haven't been used. Like, now it's just I can use them now. I'm tired. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. You also have pain in your legs. Yes, and it's gone. The pain in your legs is gone. Yeah, I have just a little bit right here, but the rest of my back of my legs is all gone. Okay, you know, now the first thing you said to me when you lifted up your arm after you prayed is you went, wow, my arm feels so much lighter. Now, you know why that is? Because bone weighs less than metal. So when the metal starts disappearing and the bone starts growing in, it automatically feels lighter. Did you say that to me? Yes, I did, because it felt like 100 pounds before. Right? It felt like 100 pounds? Yeah, it was so heavy. Because of all the metal. Right. What does it feel like now? Lift it up. Oh, it's so light. It's light. It's so light? Yeah, and yeah, it's so light. And I'm not tired. It's just that my muscles haven't been used because it's been confined. So how much lighter do you think it feels? Like you, you said it felt like 100 pounds. Does it feel like what, 80, 50, 70, uh, 20? Oh, it feels normal now. <laughs> Does it feel like the other arm? Yes, yes. Same weight as the other arm. That's because the metal is disappearing. And bone is growing. Whew. Did you see that she had clamps? I forget how many she said, like 20 clamps of metal down her arm and metal spikes going into the shattered bone to hold this apparatus that she had on her arm. And I remember, I remember was standing in back of her the first time I prayed. And I said, I, I prayed a simple prayer and I said, okay, now try to move your arm. And she went, oh. she her arms flew up in the air. She, remember, she could only lift it like this high. It flew up in the air. She goes, oh my gosh, I can lift my arm up and it feels so light. It's because the metal was already changing into bone. That's a lot of metal she had in there. She said, now it feels normal. God can do anything, guys, anything. Now, I want to pray for people that have pain in their body, that have any type of implant in their body or anything else right now. If that's you, even chat it in. That's me, that's me, that's me. I'm going to pray for you right now so that that pain can go away and that metal can start turning into bone and flesh. So in the name of Jesus right now, I, I suspend time. Sun stands still in the midst of heaven, moon stay in the valley of Ajalon, and the sun stood still and the moon stayed until Joshua took revenge on all his enemies. Right now I release the Holy Spirit to go and to heal your soul and your body of any trauma, any residual trauma or woundedness that you got from the accident or the surgery or the situation that you went through that caused this metal or this implant to be in your body and to give you trouble now. Father, Holy Spirit, go. Heal them of trauma right now in the name of Jesus. Heal them right now. Go deeper and deeper to remove every bit of trauma. I curse trauma at the root, and I command that trauma to come out in the name of Jesus right now. Then I release the angel now in the name of Jesus to bring body parts, and I speak to that metal. I command it to dissolve. I command it to get smaller. And I command it to change to bone. I speak a creative miracle into you right now in the name of Jesus. And I command that spirit of torment that's causing you pain to come out. Out. In the name of Jesus now. In Jesus' name now. Now, I hear somebody 
that you were having trouble lifting because of this implant, because of the pain, because of the restriction, and now it's gonna be very easy for you to lift. In fact, you need to start testing it out right now and let me know how you feel and let me know if you have less pain. Chat in if you have less pain or even if you feel like um, the metal has shrunk or gotten smaller or anything else like that, you need to chat in right now and let me know how it, what, 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 where you're at. And look, if you've ever had a miracle happen, you need to send me a selfie miracle testimony video. Get your phone out, put it in the landscape position like this, and do a recording of yourself. Tell me about what happened. What was the accident or the injury? What did the doctor say about it? What type of, of problems did it give you? Limited mobility, what level of pain did you have? One to 10. And then you need to send me what happened when God touched you. And then send that video to selfies at katiesouza.com. That's selfies at katiesouza.com. katiesouza.com. Okay, guys, now we're about ready to bring Julie Meyer up. She's going to be ministering, singing over you for healing or deliverance. But first, I want to remind you that we're coming up on June. And in June, I start my Serpent and the Soul, Taking Python and Leviathan to Court Master Class. Okay, it's a master class. I released a lot of videos on YouTube and on on Facebook about witchcraft being connected to serpents and about witches cursing us and then serpents carrying it out. I've been releasing you a lot of teaching on that and I finally decided because of the overwhelming demand to create a master class. So I've created this amazing master class and you're going to learn so much in this master class about how to take that you can legally take these serpents and these witches to court, that fire drives the serpent out of hiding, that uh, the power of communion will crush the head of the serpent in your life. I'm going to show you that these serpents are causing eye disorders, ear problems. They're twisting your spine. They're squeezing out your finances and your, your ability to grow in your business and your ministry and your call with God that they cause depression, anxiety. They're causing divorce between um, married people. They're, they're causing issues with family members, all kinds of things. You need to be taking this this master class called Serpent of the Soul, taking Python and the Vites into court. I'm going to throw up a promo real quick so you can get an idea of what you're going to get in this master class. Check it out. Which is get their power from the idols that they worship. It gives that spirit of witchcraft a legal right to curse you and then a serpent will carry out that curse. People don't understand the entity that actually carries out the curse is a serpent spirit. Witchcraft always works with serpent spirits. Serpents cause gout. Serpents are the source of eye and ear disorders. Serpents cause digestive problems, sleep disorders, restless leg syndrome, respiratory diseases, and more. This deliverance mantle of getting free of demonic serpents has picked up speed. It was time to build the ultimate master class, the serpent and the soul taking Python and Leviathan to court. I've been teaching this revelation and I've been seeing massive, massive miracles. I'm going to prove to you that Jesus' first mandate ever in the entire scriptures was to crush the head of the serpent. I'm going to show you on how communion defeats these demonic serpents and how it can heal you of the effects of the venom that these serpents put into your bodies. We'll activate and go into prayer and deliverance and healing in every single session. I'm going to be doing four live Q&As and personally ask questions and I'll be live with you to respond into having a mass mantle of deliverance authority over these demonic serpents so you can also not only crush their heads but to take out the witchcraft and idolatry that's in your life. I'm looking forward to seeing you soon on my new master class, The Serpent and the Soul, Taking Leviathan and Python to Court. Praise God, guys. Sign up. It starts in June, the first week of June. And I'm going to be doing a live Q&A, four live Q&As. So as you take the sessions, there's 10 sessions 
We're going to be doing a live Q&A where you can ask me specific questions about what you've learned during each week of, of, the, of the class. And inside the class, I have a two-hour healing and deliverance session. I do activations in every single session so we can break off everything you've learned we activate into. And then I do the two-hour healing session. It's going to be amazing. You need to sign up for it. Go to my website, katiesouza.com, and get on the resources page or the events page and sign up. Serpent in the Soul, Taking Python and Leviathan to Court. Okay, without any further ado, let's welcome today's very special guest. Please give a hand to Julie Meyer. Okay, this brings back like old memories, us hanging out, so much fun. You know, uh, yes. man, the, the, remember like the, the, the glory school days and doing stuff with Patricia King and you and Steve Swanson would be up there yes. just, man, going for it. We would be in so much glory, we'd literally ascend in the meeting while you guys were leading worship. I I remember I love it I I the the but we we've just we we go more often now because we know how to do it you know yeah, the Bible right. but just those early days and everybody being so hungry to encounter the beauty and the presence of the healer the warrior healer and I love that because we're still doing it and yeah. we're still fiery. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It has grown and grown. And uh, it was like those, these moments are my favorite to get into the presence because in that presence, anything can happen. You've seen some crazy miracles through your worship, even for yourself, for your family, and for other people. Tell us some testimonies of some of the things that you've experienced over the years. Well, you know, I am on staff at the Healing Rooms Apostolic Center in Santa Maria, California. Right. Uh, Rick and Lori Taylor are the directors. My son Isaac is also part of the staff, which is really fun. One of the most, um, well, there, every miracle is amazing. Right. But I do want to say, if you are close to Santa Maria, get there. That's where it is. Mm. One of our young, uh, I would say a gender confused, uh, came and, and this, they kept coming, you know, to our worship and we just loved, we just loved on people. And during one of our worship sets, I'll never forget it. During one of our worship sets, she hears in her mind, you are a girl. Wow. She heard it, you are a girl. And she's like, I'm a girl. And she, the next day she comes, she's, she's got a dress on, oh my you know, gosh. she's got makeup on. She signs up for our internship and she wow. is all in. And I'm like, that was the most beautiful thing because we just loved on her and loved on her. And the, and wow. the Holy Spirit just whispered one whisper one whisper during gosh. worship and she got it is oh. that crazy oh my gosh talk You're about that one of the biggest problems in the u.s now is the gender identity crisis yeah. but through worship gosh this is such great news honestly yeah, and it wasn't it wasn't the preaching it wasn't you're wrong i mean it was just we're loving you and we are going to point you to Jesus and we just worshiped it was Jesus centered worship and just uh, yeah that was f so incredible like she, oh in a God. second she got it there was and no look, wrestle it was like oh I'm a girl I'm a girl wow. <laughs> wow that one whisper guys 
that can come in the glory, in the presence through worship, that one whisper can change somebody instantly and they don't need to be convinced or coerced or begged or anything else. It came straight from the throne in in the presence. Wow, that's amazing. You guys, uh, okay, tell it again, Santa Maria Healing Rooms. Uh, What's the website on that? Is that healingrooms.msv? Yeah, it's Healing Rooms with an S and then SMV for Santa Maria Valley dot com. Okay. Or you can just put in Santa Maria Healing Rooms and it will pop up. Rick and Lori Taylor are the directors. I've actually been there eight years and these healing rooms have been going for almost 23 years. Gosh. And uh, anyway, it's just amazing. Yeah, to- guys, if you're in that area, you should go. You should yes. definitely go. You're going to get deliverance. You're going to get breakthrough. You're going to get healing. You're going to get loved on. And yeah. God's going to show up and help you out. You know, I pulled some footage from a, an older conference, and this is one of my favorite songs that you've ever done. And you, you got it straight out of the Bible. It's right. basically you wrote it straight out of the Bible. We're going to roll that because I love this piece, and you guys are going to pick up on the glory wave that's going to come from it. Check it out. Unto the Lamb in the midst of the throne, the beautiful Lamb in the midst of the throne, the worthy Lamb, the glorious Man slain. Unto the Lamb in the midst of the throne, the beautiful Lamb in the midst of the throne, the worthy Lamb. No one in heaven or on the earth or underneath, no one was found worthy. I begin to Like all day long. I love that song. I love that song. And you know what was really, I remember this, and the drummer's my son, Joe. That's who came to your conference. Right. Come on. And we were talking about earlier. So the drummer's my son. What happened after this? Because when you, I, I believe fully, when you sing the Bible, Hebrews 4 tells us the word of God is, it's alive. Yes. So, it just goes out. It begins to do what it says it will do. And it's full of living power. And what happened after this is we got into this whole prophetic swirl just about the throne room, but just about God's love for us. And the second singer, Naomi, the singer in the uh, in the middle there, there was yeah. like Anna Blanc and Naomi Thomas. She knows five languages. Oh my and gosh. she just started singing prophetically, you know, in Dutch and in German. And it's wow. just, it was so oh. powerful. It oh. just opened up this, I don't know, it's like a, a, outpouring of revelation of the love that the lamb has for the nations and she's able to sing that in their language it i'll never forget that night it, oh my and gosh. i was just going go go <laughs> go just keep going and and it's also the beauty of team like yeah. we need each other right 
And that that moment, it was just powerful. I can't, I don't know all, I know she knows five languages and she just began to sing over the nations in that, in their language about the revelation and the love of God for the nations. And it was so powerful. I oh it's like a bookmark moment. Oh my, my gosh. Heart, and I remember that. I'm going to go back and listen to that all night long now um, because it, I, I commend you, friend, because you actually open up the door for that kind of prophetic flow. You open up the door for that kind of encounter for the people that are worshiping. And you open up the door for, you know, people to get a download. I can't tell you how many times I've been sitting under your ministry of worship. And I've gotten a download. I've gotten an answer to a problem. I, I've seen a vision that fixed a situation I was fighting with. I, I mean, it's because you are constantly singing the scriptures and you pull your, your lyrics and your words from the scriptures, it, it causes the word to be manifest in everybody yeah. that's listening. It really does. And it's, it's interesting that you said that because I believe because of how our brain works together, you know, when we, when we sing and if we're singing the Bible, it's powerful. But when we sing the lobes of our brain, actually they overlap, they function as one, like literally making a helmet. So the only thing our body can take in and process are the words we're singing, which is the Bible. And that's the point. That's where strategies come. That's where ideas come because all this riff raff from the enemy trying to get us, you know, to not have a clue well here is something we can all do in our own house it's great when it's corporate worship but it works at home yeah. and when you just said it you just said idea and strategies that is some of the point that i think god loves to just rain down in floods in torrents of raging waters ideas and strategies and downloads in the middle of worship uh, when, wow. we, when we just sing the Bible. Come on. You know, uh, sometimes people will, you know, they'll text me or email me and they'll say, um, how do I break out of this? I'm being demonically swarmed. I, I can't, you know, uh, get past this battle I'm in. I can't break out. And I'm like, wow, go listen to Julie Meyer. <laughs> go, go sing this, do what she says to do. Go pick a Psalm and sing it. Like sometimes Psalm 18 is like this massively powerful warfare song, right? And so Absolutely. when I'm like fighting, I'll go and I'll just pace around my room and take Psalm 18 and just first start decreeing it. And then, and then I do what you do. I try to bring it into a song form. And man, I'm telling you, it immediately starts cracking that, that wall of, of resistance. And I see it fall in front of me. Oh, absolutely. And I think that if you want to encounter the Lord, I think Psalm 18 is a picture of how God rescues us when he hears our prayer and our cry. Because wow. David starts it with this love song, you know, I love you, I give you my whole heart. And then all of a sudden, you have God, the, uh, the prayer arising, and it goes into God's ear. And I love it because sometimes he send his angels, and I love his angels. They're probably always with him. But Psalms 18, he gets up himself and it says he came down. Wow. And this is the, this is the backlash that he says, no, 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 you won't touch my beloved ones. Oh and my to God. me, it's this picture of what happens when we pray and ask God for help. That's why we want to pray and keep on praying, ask and keep on asking because he will come to deliver. And I personally feel it looks like Psalm 18. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Uh, Everybody online I know needs a breakthrough. Guys, in fact, chat in right now that, you know, if that's you, say, that's me, that's me, that's me, if you need a breakthrough. And what I'd like to do is, can we do some ministry right off the gate mm -hmm. right here? 
uh, Julie, and just maybe start decreeing and singing Psalm 18 over everybody that is battling right now because people are battling. People are already chatting in. That's me, says Brandon. That's me, says Sonia. That's me, says Jody. That's me, says Pauline. That's that's me, says Myra. Yeah, so that's me, says Fiona. Uh, Elisa said, that's me, that's me. People are saying, that's me. Nellie says, that's me. People are definitely needing the ministry of the truth of the word and how God comes. So I'm just going to like l cut you loose to start just ministering over them that song. Okay, I want to, what's so powerful about this song is it starts with a love song to Jesus. It's like, mm. I, I just love you and I want to give you this chorus. Um, I will love you, love you all. You're my hope and you are my strength. And with my whole heart, all my devotion, I will love you for you are my rock. Jesus, thank you, Lord. My sure foundation. And I sing it over you tonight. I sing it over you, Britt. I sing it over you, Clarita. I sing it over you, Lisa. A heart that's fully God's. And I sing it over you. What is it? Cayenne. I sing it over you. A heart that's fully alive in God. I sing it over you, Karen. I sing it over you, Karen. I will love you, love you, oh Lord. You're my hope and you are my strength. And with my whole heart, all my devotion, I will love you for you are my rock, my sure foundation. And I cry out to you, I cry out to you, God. Oh, can you hear Jennifer's cry? Can you hear Nina's cry, God? Oh, I cry out to you, I cry out to you, God. And your word says you heard our cry and God. I can see it, Monica. God's coming to your rest rescue, Patricia. He's, he's coming, I see. Your prayers are rising. And God is coming down with his deliverance. Don't grow weary. God is coming to your rescue, coming to your rescue, coming to deliver you. He's coming to your rescue, Linda. He's coming to your rescue, Jan. He's coming to your rescue, Tammy and Joanne. He is coming to your rescue. He will deliver fully, completely, because God heard my cry and God came down. God came down and then he he rescued me and he put me in a broad 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 place and this is what I learned about my father and he says I deliver you because I delight in you I deliver you time and time and time and time again I rescue you because I delight in you, I deliver, I come to your rescue, I deliver, I'm coming to rescue you, Mary and Michelle and Lisa and Noah, I'm coming to your rescue, coming 
coming to your rescue. I will deliver, coming to your rescue, coming to your rescue. God came down. Jesus, Jesus, he came down. As the captain of the host, he came to deliver me. He did. He came to heal me. He came to set me free. He's doing it for you, David. He's doing it for you, Jean. He's doing it for you, Robin. Just believe, believe, believe. It's in his word. It's in his word. What he says is true. Just keep a tender heart. He'll come to your rescue, come to your, he's coming to your rescue, Tammy. He's coming to your rescue, Jan. He's coming to your rescue, Noah. He's coming to your rescue, Elaine. He's coming to your rescue. And all I did was praise him. I sang out the words of David in Psalm 18. All I did was praise 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 all i did was praise 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 and he came to our rescue came to our rescue came to our rescue i believe that things are shifting right now that you're gonna look back at this show Katie Sousa's show, and you're going to go, right there I got my breakthrough, right there I got my healing, right there I got my deliverance, right there he touched me, he touched me, he healed me, he delivered, he set me, set me free, and I believe because I, I simply sang out his word, and I will love you. Love you, oh Lord. You're my hope and you are my help. You help me. And with my whole heart, all my devotion, I will love you for you are my rock. My sure foundation. He's your sure foundation, Patricia and Nikki and Michelle. He's your sure foundation. You're going to feel it beneath your feet. Even this afternoon, you're going to feel this steady ground, steady ground. The shaking doesn't matter because you're on steady, steady, steady ground. You're on the rock. You're on the rock. You're on the rock, Gene. You're standing on the rock, David. You're standing on the rock, Noah. You're standing on the rock, standing on the rock. You will not be shaken. You will not be moved. You will not be shaken. You will not be moved. You'll be rescued. He's coming to your rescue, coming to your rescue, Michelle. He's coming to your rescue, Deborah. Krista, he's coming to your rescue, Jan, he's coming to your rescue, he's coming to your rescue, he's coming to your rescue, he'll deliver and save and heal you, just wait and see, wait and see, this is our beloved Savior, this is Jesus. So just open the word to Psalm 18. Open your word to Psalm 18. And it says that the earth itself shivered and shook. It reeled and rocked. Mm, and the mountains trembled. For his anger was kindled, burning on your behalf, Sonia, Nelly, Joseph, this is how he feels about you. 
This is how he feels about the enemy trying to take you out, trying to get you all depressed. This is how, do you know, Jesus gets angry and he gets up and he does something about it. Psalm 18. And it says, suddenly the brilliance of his presence broke through. Suddenly the brilliance of his presence broke through. I prophesy that to you, Haley and Noah and Michelle and Joe. Oh, the brilliance of his presence broke through. It was like thunder and lightning and power and shaking. His brilliant shining. It's a brilliant shining. It's a brilliant shining. And it says then with a mighty roar, he laid bare the foundations of the earth. The hidden depths of the land were exposed. Oh, this is, this is the power of our God. When, oh, when we pray, when we simply lift our voice. And it says, when I was at my weakest, my enemies attacked me, but the Lord held on to me. His love broke open the way. I tell you, I'm telling you today, right now, that the Lord is holding you. It's what Psalm 18 says, and he's making a way. He's making a way right here, right now. It's a bookmark moment. He's making a way just like he did for Dave, and he's making a way. He's making a way for you, Charlie. He's making a way for you, Michelle. He's making a way when there is no way. It doesn't matter because God is the one who makes the way and he's making a way away 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 he's making a way for you and he is the final answer and God he comes down he comes down to you he's that good he's that good that he delivers he's that good he's that good that he always heals. He's that good. He's that good that he makes a way for breakthrough when there is no way. Just call upon his name. Just call upon, just call upon his name. Noah, call upon his name. Lily, call upon his name. He says, just call upon my name. I will rescue, I will rescue you because I delight in you. I take so much delight in you. I will rescue, I'll come down to you and say, just here. So there, I mean, I just feel like deliverance is happening right now. Deliverance. I just feel deliverance from addiction, deliverance, deliverance, deliverance from pain. And I just, it's like, I see someone with such great sorrow and the Lord, I just, I just see him touching your heart right now, giving you the gift of hope and hope will replace those tears. Hope, hope, hope. It's the gift of hope. It's the gift of hope. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. He's giving you breakthrough. Giving you breakthrough. He's giving you breakthrough. That's what he does. It's who he is. Just read, read and sing Psalm 18. If he did it for David, he'll do it for you. He's the same, he never changes. 
If he rescued David, he will rescue and deliver and heal and set free, give you breakthrough. That's just who he is. And that's just who he is. Thank you, Lord. And that's like just the that people are in right now is being is. delivered. Right now is as Julie continues to sing over you. I, I feel like people that have been deep grief in their heart are being delivered right now. I command that grief to come out of you. I command the memories that you are holding on to that are causing you that deep pain to come out that the Holy Spirit would remove and wash your mind of those painful memories that you've been dwelling on that have caused you so much anxiety and fear and sadness. Right now we release the power, the washing of the word as Julie has been releasing the washing of the word, the promise of the word over you like this like this living water, just streams of living water flowing out over you to heal you, to deliver you, and to bring you the hope that she decreed over you, like hope springing up as you feel a lifting right now, that lifting happening right now of that pain. I command it to lift. I command the, the sorrow that's clenched your heart. You can literally feel it in your heart to lift off of your heart right now as trauma is being destroyed in the presence of the word, of the word being released through worship, through the singing of the word over you. But I just decree it right now, right now for you. If that's you, if you've been feeling that pain in your heart, chat in right now and then chat in how you're, how you're feeling as the Lord is releasing his presence through his word as, as Julie's singing over you. Father, we thank you, Lord. Well, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so I, I'm having people chat in, Julie, that, you know, even like somebody's pet even fell asleep yeah. while you were oh, wow. worshiping. There was so much peace. A man named John, uh, he chatted and he said, wow, seeing the scriptures, this is new. I love it, he said. I love it. And people are just saying, yes, amen. I'm receiving strength. I, I'm feeling the glory. I'm receiving healing. People are chatting wow. in. I'm healed. The Lord is healing us. Uh, Britt says, yes, I feel the washing of the word and healing through the tears. She's having tears yeah. of cleansing right now. David's saying, yes, tears of joy are happening for him and thankfulness. Um, Robin's saying healing from trauma is happening to her right now. Um, wow. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wow. Go, go ahead and just keep keep a little bit more of, the, of that decree. I don't, I don't want to lose the momentum of the healing. So let's just go a couple more minutes, Julie, and really uh, give people more. And everybody just relax. Rest in the presence of this prophetic decree of the word being released over you as ministry. Receive it as ministry right now as Julie continues to release to you Psalm 18, Thank you. David writes, even though I feel so helpless, God, even though I feel so weak, that's when my enemies try and rush in and attack me. My enemies try to come in and attack me When I felt weak and hopeless Remember, David wrote But the Lord held on to me And I see a picture of the Lord, He's holding you 
He's holding you, Krista. If you're watching today, I can't see every name, but I'm telling you, this is what, this is the Lord. I feel like you're going to feel a warmth around you. And it's literally the arms of the Lord because David writes, and the Lord held on to me in the middle of trouble. In the middle of the battle, it's before the battle was won. And David writes, but the Lord held on to me. God himself, Jehovah, Jehovah held on to me. Put his arms all around, all around, all around me. Gave me a great big bear hug, God. He held on to me And his love broke open away And he brought me into this beautiful place This is a prophetic word for you, for every one of you Even if you're going to watch later That his love breaks through in a wonderful way and God will bring you into this beautiful place. Psalm 18, that his love broke open the way, and he brought me into a beautiful, broad place. He rescued me because he delights in rescued me with a smile he wasn't angry he didn't say here you are again he wasn't frustrated but he brought me by his love he made a way and he brought me into a broad and steady place he said I'll rescue you because I delight in you. I take joy in your life. I call you my own. You've got destiny. It's time, it's time to look ahead and press on, press on. I've got a calling for you. I rescue you because I delight in you. I take great joy in delivering you. Psalm 18, verse 19. I take great joy in delivering you. It's my delight, it's my delight to call you into destiny, to put hope in your heart again, to put hope, hope in Michelle. And it's almost like I just see this picture as, as, as I'm singing Psalm 18, verse 19, that it's like he has this gift and it's wrapped in a package like a Christmas present. And he just, he put, he's putting hope as a gift in your wow. being, in your inner man. Wow. So literally in an instant, I see people going from hopeless to hope, depression to hope, because he's giving it as a gift wow. and there's nothing you have to do. You don't have to do anything, but just receive it and let it be because it is literally like the very hope of God himself. It's like he takes this part of himself that's hope and he takes it out of himself and he puts it in your inner man and your inner being. And I believe that in an instant, it's going to be like you've already received five years of the best counseling you could ever get. But this is the beauty of of the Spirit of God. It, he does the deep work that can take years and years for man to reach those deep places, but for the Spirit of God in worship and because of the power of the living Word of God, I just feel like this living Word went from me in Santa Maria to wherever you are. Amen. And it touched the 
deepest places and he put the gift of hope. Even if you watch this later, he's putting hope in you. Okay, so and guys, you know what? You're never you going to lose that hope. It's a gift of hope, guys. I want you to receive it. I want you to even chat in that I receive. It's a gift. It's free. It's, a gift. it's unearned. It's undeserved. You didn't have to do anything but just sit in the presence and receive this free gift of hope. I just want to chat out some things that people are writing, Julie, right now. Britt said, yes, I feel the washing of the word and healing through the tears. Um, uh, Nelly said, my heart is healed. Um, Fiona said, yes, um, release from the grief of the death of my son. Michelle said, I feel pain leaving from my heart right now. Wow. Amber said, I'm feeling lighter and more peaceful. Um, somebody said, Peggy said, I'm being healed, healing from the road rage that I had on Monday night. Wow. Najin said, I'm healed. Um, Rose said, yes, Lord, I receive my healing with big exclamation points. People are saying he's holding me right now. I received this word. She said, Robin said, I received that word on grief. I lost my mom. And uh, so she's receiving healing of, the, of a broken heart from losing her mom. Uh, wow. People are just chatting in. This is, I received that word of hope. I received that word of hope. Um, he's taking great joy in delivering us. Uh, people are just, they're receiving it. It's so beautiful. We only have like, a, wow, today's show just flew by so fast, guys. It's a minute 55. Um, I want to put up a graphic while, while Julie's playing just some keyboard in the background about what her book. You need to get it, guys. And we're going to put that up right now. As you see there, Joshua and Janet Mills have, have um, said a great comment about Julie's book, 30 Days of Praying the Psalms. And Joshua said, in reading 30 Days of Praying the Psalms, we found the Psalms coming alive inside of us. And we believe the same thing will happen for you too. You know, you guys need to start going on, Julie, get, get the book on Amazon, okay? 30 Days of Praying the Psalms. Go on to YouTube, and I want you to go to Julie Meyer on YouTube, and I want you to subscribe to her channel, okay? And I want you to start listening to her stuff and receiving the healing of just the Word of God being spoken over you, sung over you, singing the Word. Julie, you only got 50 seconds. Give two really quick ways for people. Really, you got to make it so short. We're at 45 seconds. All right. Hey, also check out check out into the river.net where we are singing our way through the Psalms and Katie this was your Psalm that I actually called you about Psalm 41 yes. that God always blesses those who are kind to the poor and rescue their soul Psalm 41 he raises them off their sick bed and gives them life okay, I remember that like saying that is story. Katie's it is. It's my life story. I remember when you sent me that, I was just so happy. We got 10 seconds left, guys. Again, get 30 days of praying the Psalms by Julie Myers. Go to intheriver.com. Intheriver.com. Julie Myers, we love you. And we'll see everybody next week. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.